Right, I'm back. This is like episode 9D or E or something. I had to take that um, phone call. It's from the postman. Anyway. Right, so I did that and that took me about three minutes. So I'm going to pause it again while I do that. But just, and I shouldn't say this here, but I'm going to anyway because it's a bit of a chat and I'm so excited. That was the postman on the phone. He's brought me my magnets. Right, I, I bought these magnets and I bought four different types because I, and I bought um, a big magnetic sheet thing. Like that's, uh, that is a major, really strong magnetic sheet. And I've got these mega magnets. And I, I didn't understand how strong the different sizes. So I've got these. These are really strong, man. These are mental. These are so powerful. Because when I was looking on the internet, there, I was looking at the website and it was saying, you know, this has got... 1.2 kilogram pull and 0.3 kilogram pull. I didn't know what that mean meant, and you know, and they're not that expensive. So, uh, so I thought, right, I'll get a whole range. These are mental, right? And look, I'm even down to look. Look at these ones. Look, there's my the. Uh, look, there, there's these these things are these are titchy, like you know, absolutely titchy, tiny little titchy magnets, right? And the reason I I, I got them and. I, I don't know if, if this is going to work, but uh, but I had an idea. You know what I'm going to do on a later box, my next box, I'm going to get some of this angle line, right? And instead of doing grey board all the way around to the corners, I'll do because this is the same thickness as the grey board. I'll do an inner layer of grey board, and I'm going to inset four of these bits on the corner, so they're flush here. Four of them on the corner of them, and then on the lid. So imagine this is the lid. I was going to set four in the corner there again. So I haven't got the inner line of the grey board here. So you can't see that's well that shot. So I haven't got the inner line of the grey board there and I was going to set those in there. And then if I can get it accurate, I would have this beautiful sliding up and down. I wouldn't have all this problem with the box lids. It would be beautiful. But what I thought was on the box and the lid, this, is, this bit isn't magnetic, but I thought of setting in a magnet here on each side, and then if this is the lid, setting in a magnet on the inside. So when you go down this beautiful slidey bits with the angle irons and they go on beautifully, there's a little magnet that holds it shut. I thought, what a fabulous idea and that brilliant idea. I haven't got a clue if it's gonna work. So I thought about that and I thought, right, well, what I want is a magnet strength that will boop, pop it together, but uh, but won't be so strong that I couldn't get it apart. You know, so just the right amount, especially, you know, if I could get it just the right amount that the weight of the components in the box, when you lift the lid up, the weight of the components just pops it off the magnets or there or thereabouts. And I tried it for some of that. You can get this magnetic strip, cheap stuff, like craft hobby stuff, and I tried it. And the magnets weren't strong enough, especially to go through, once you've gone through two bits of card and a bit of masking tape on both sides. It was just useless, it wasn't strong enough. So I thought, I'll get these magnets. Uh, you know, I've got all different shapes and sizes. And I've got really long water boil on ones there. And they're all two millimetres thick, which is what the thing that drew me in there. Two millimetres thick. I thought, yes, that's meant to be, which is because that's the thickness of the grey ball. So I'll be able to inset one perfectly and you wouldn't even know it was there. But uh, but I've got them, so I was so excited. But these magnets, man, man, they're ridiculous. I mean, you know, if I did that on the box, jeez, man, you have to cut it open with a chainsaw. You never get it open. So I think I might be heading for these titchy, titchy, tiny ones. I mean, these are, and even these, I think, are too strong. These are pretty bloody strong, you know. Depends what the shear value is. So. But hopefully they'll be less strong. So I'm going to have to run some experiments. Otherwise, I might just... These might be wasted. Not well, they'll never be wasted money because magnets are always handy. I might have to maybe try and get some normal magnets that are two millimetres thick. And uh, I'm so excited, man. This is, you know, like, I've got my magnets. Excellent. And, you know, aside if I'm going to use this for this, these, these are handy. Or the reason I got the magnetic sheet was like, you know, I did an insert for my Cleopatra. Thing, that's got minis in it. There's a video about that. And I, you know, I was going to put little magnets or metal in the bottom of the minis 
and just put a strip of this so the mini's attached to the wall. You know, that's your mini. Boom, attached to the wall, doesn't rattle around. You don't have to make a little insert for it. You know, you could really do it efficiently sticking minis in there on magnets. This is all for future box making. You are seeing the future of my box making here and now. And, uh, you know, after I've done all this, and when I make these boxes, which I probably never will because I get all excited and do this stuff and never actually get it together. I'll show you, I'll, I'll make videos about all this. And I think these might be too strong. This is a real shame, I have to get cracked magnets up now. Magnets, these are so strong, these ones. They're called die something magnets. They're not standard magnets. They're like really mega, they're mega magnets. Anyway, shouldn't be saying that. That's 10 minutes of waffle that you could have done without. So I did that. You saw me. It took me three minutes. I'll pause it and make the other three. Right, so I did them. Didn't take me long. Show you. It's a little bit wet. All right. So that's the whole box. Ignore that, that's terrible. You can see in there, right, with these thin tokens that I got. Where are those tokens? I'll just get it to show you. Everything else is pretty straightforward, but these these thin tokens, there's the camera. And I'll put them in there, right? So I've made a little slot. So they're living in there, and then there's two slots either side, so they don't, they're not rolling around, but there's enough room to get my fingers in the side. Because I had loads of room, it's not, it's not a great solution, not a, you know, it's not a revolutionary solution or anything, but it just, just goes to show how much I want to try and make it easy to get things in and out. That's, I wish I hadn't done that, that's such a mess, so, no, not being square, I hate it. That's it. And uh, yeah, so all the components, I'm not going to put all the components in yet. So the next thing, and there's all six of them. You know, to, um, you know again, all these things. I would think it's easy to, put, to pull two out. How easy is it just to pull one out? Yeah, that's why there's a bit of play. It's easy to pull one out, isn't it? If you want this one, it's easy. You know, that's why you want a bit of play. You want to make it, unlike my escape box, which is tight. There's a, <laughs> I'm not going to say what, say that. Um, it's just really tight and uh, getting things out is difficult. But you, know, you always want to try, if you can, to leave some play to be able to pull these boxes out. Or get any pieces out, like with the Castillo, I've left um, finger room with the tuck boxes that go in here. There's a finger room to get the start. Here, there's a finger room. Here, there's a finger room. You just need, you always need to make sure you can get them out. So, that is the end of episode nine. Good boy, and I'll see you next one. If I did, we will go to the, I'll go, go, go to the, the space See you later.